Hey, what's up guys, it's Avichiver and in this video I have a dual Chi unboxing from SES. One of them is the Vault 3M Supernova version with PVC coating, I believe. And the other one is the X-Men Wingies Cube version 2. Really excited for this one. So there's actually more to it, but of course it's for a separate video. Yeah, another thing is this package is coming from Canada because long story short, I asked Veronica to ship me over some cubes to Canada while I was competing for NHS, but unfortunately it didn't reach on time. So my grandmother was generous enough to um, send me these cubes to me in Dubai. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to start off with the Valk M and I'm also really sorry if the mic quality is quite bad. It's because my mic is currently broken. I don't know what's wrong with it, but um, yeah. I'm just gonna unbox this. I haven't made a video in quite a long time, but it's because I was busy with school, you know, AS levels and all that stuff. But so I believe this is a normal Valk with PVC coating with magnets as well and setup. Um, I used to have a Valk, but it was non-magnetic, so I'm really excited to try this out, honestly. But yeah, in the box, it's just honestly typical cheese stuff. But there we go i switched things up a bit changed the angle you know but yeah i'm just really excited to try this cube out okay as i was saying i've never had a cube which is pvc coated before but i believe it's just a uv coated gan somewhere like that but with this on my hand it's really luby but i wiped it off a bit and um yeah it's kind of weird having these things stickers Yeah, well, I think I'm gonna get used to it. But for turns, oh, honestly, there you go. Um, this cube just broke on me, and I'm kind of sad. I mean, I waited for so long just to get my hands on this cube, but huh, that is kind of weird. I mean, first turns, and this cube broke. Well, I'm just gonna have to move on to, you know, this cube, I guess. Okay, so I'm moving on with the wing cube because I don't want to waste more time. Um, yes, I'm using a pen. And this pen is from any champs, so <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, the X-Men wing cube, as you guys know, this cube is one of my main events, if not my most favorite events. So... The box, it looks really premium, like the tornado. Oh, wow. That is really fancy. I guess I, okay. This is the accessories box. I'm kind of curious what's inside. Oh, inside there's a tensioning tool. Cause apparently I think this features the um, tensioning system, which is in the tornado V2, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, those are just some cards, All right? So this is the cube. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the original Wingies cube with me because apparently I gave it to someone, but um, I do know what it feels like. So I can somehow compare it to the old one, see if they improved or something. Right now I am maining the GAN cube, the enhanced version. And wow, this is really light. As a cube solver, I can really tell that the wingy concave shape actually helps with your times. Like, I don't know, the flow of your solves basically just is way better than a normal skew. Because once you start using this, the normal skew feels very pillowy somehow. Um, I think you guys get me, but first turns, hopefully this doesn't pop as well, but... <laughs> So out of the box, it feels it feels somewhat similar to a Gan cube, like the Gan cube itself. This cube has the concave shape, which definitely helps with my solves, and especially when there's like peer pressure, you know, competitions. The concave shape really helps. And um, let's check the corner cutting real quick. 
Uh, corner cutting is at least halfway through. I mean, this cube is really stable and the tensions are fine. Honestly, I could use this like right away. As soon as I unbox it, I can use it in a competition. I don't really mind. Like stock settings are really good. And I do want to check the tension system on this one. I just want to, you know, check it out. I don't want to mess with it. I'm just going to check this side. There we go. So basically this is the tension system seen in the Tornado V2. And um, to be honest, I'm still somewhat confused on how it works. As of now, I don't have my Tornado V2 because apparently I also gave it away. Well, yeah, I think SCS is sending me another Tornado V2 as well as a Tornado V3. So you guys gotta stay tuned, but this is actually impressing. Um, especially on a skew. Um, the GAN did have their own tension system as well, but this one, this one is impressing. I was really looking forward onto this skew, but like first turns it popped, which was quite unexpected, but I also got that on camera, which is kind of fun. I'm gonna send that to Veronica. Well, anyways, um, there's not much to say, so I'm gonna try to super glue this skew back. And um, I guess I'll give you guys my final thoughts on both cubes but yeah see you guys all right guys so i fixed my mic as well as my vlog 3m i'm keeping my voice very very low because it's currently 12 midnight and i should be sleeping i don't want to wake anyone up but anyways this cube right out of the box i got a pop but i super glued the pieces back together despite all of that the performance is actually pretty good considering the supernova setup but once that setup wears off, which is after like 50 or 100 solves, the cube becomes blocky. And it's something which I'm really not used to. And in addition to that, the cube is heavy in general. Um, the cube itself is heavy, the turning is heavy, plus it's blocky, which results to me dropping my cube once in a while. But I think that's it for the Vogue 3 m I'm just really disappointed because of the pieces of this cube, this is a Vogue 3 m it's very brittle. Like, right after I broke the centerpiece, no, not the centerpiece, the edge piece of this cube, I got a corner piece broken as well, so I had to super glue that as well. Yeah, as you can see on the screen, I'm gonna show it somewhere on the screen, my edge piece broke again so yeah moving on all right so now for the x-men wingy version 2 cube overall this cube is great but it's quite flimsy and that's only because i haven't played with the tension settings yet i'm really sorry about that i really had no energy to just start playing with the tensions and setting this cube up but comparing it to a gan cube this is way lighter than a gan cube which is nice but i kind of got used to a heavy cube so i tend to drop this cube from time to time i'm not sure if that's because it's flimsy or it's light but but yeah i do think this is way lighter than a gan cube and this has main potential when I actually have the energy to set this cube up properly and comparing it to the version 1 there's actually a huge difference in terms of how it feels, how it weighs, everything is just way different. This cube is just way modern than the original Tornado's cube so yeah this cube has made potential but I think that's pretty much it. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. This is the unboxing of the Supernova Vulk 3M and the X-Men Wingy version 2 ski. Uh, once again, this video is sponsored by SES, so I'd like to um, give a huge shout out for Team SES and um, Veronica, of course, for sending these skews over before my competition date. I really appreciate it. And my next competition is on December 16 and 17 in sunmark so if you are going feel free to comment down below and be sure to say hi don't forget to use code fv at speedtubeshot.com for five percent off your entire order thanks for watching guys bye, bye. bye.